morning folks afternoon wherever it is whatever it is where you are shops pretty empty it's been a week been gone a lot out on the road working in the woods and other shops you know the drill I've been telling you that don't have much here other than this 440a I'll show you what the heck got to give you something to watch something to watch complaint she wouldn't release she was stuck the guy had the drag sitting on it blah 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 I actually truthfully I think that the, the band was rusted to the to the to the drum that's my honest opinion it sat for I don't know what he said a month and a half something like that just like a semi wheel when the brakes sat so long, sit so long, and you gotta hit them with a sledgehammer or a two pound hammer. They tugged on it a little bit with a, I don't know, a chain or something, and it fell right down and it worked ever since. So I think the band was just rusted to the, I think she was just kind of glued itself on there. Anyways, the only other thing I got going here is, well, we did a lot of stuff in between trucks, welded parts, whatnot. You, ain't, you don't see any of these anymore. Little Al's Chalmer, I think he said it's a 1984. It's a little air conditioner problem. It's a roof mount. And it's kind of cool, I thought. They got a nice access here for the hoses from the outside. I thought that was pretty cool. And what we found up there on the top, let me climb the ladder. I'll climb the ladder. Don't fall down. Hope you guys aren't scared of heights. Right here. There it is. Expansion valve. The shiny hose is the new one. And uh, the old one was rusted and rotted from condensation, I'm guessing, for over the years, well, 1984 to now. She rusted through the fitting. And it had a tiny, tiny pinhole. It's a low pressure side, so it never gets up that high, but it was leaking out. So I've been using this, how do you want to call it, easy clip stuff. And what they call a lifesaver fitting. So you just cut the tube line, silver, silver braze a, a fitting on it, because it would take an act of Congress to get that tube line made or we could have ran a whole rubber line down there but I used about a foot of hose and uh, a couple of fittings and we're back in business so just right now I'm finishing it up I gotta head to Minnesota for three or four days and do some welding over there yeehaw you guys out there that get your yeah they're not a weld. You can go anywhere and work. Um, what do I got to do yet? Oh, I got to change some O-rings. I see some. I don't know if it's iffy if they're leaking or not. I pulled vacuum on it yesterday and she's lost maybe a two inches of vacuum. But I'm going to get a little bit of a dirt or dust hang on right there. I'm going to change the O-rings just because... It'll, it'll help me assure myself that there isn't a leak there and o-rings are cheap so that's about it i'm gonna post this today hopefully and next week i'll be in like i said minnesota and then yeah it's just been busy busier than i'll get out which is good that means business is good things are rolling so so i found a problem Imagine that I always find problems on this tractor. I fixed that hose in that corner I showed you earlier and got everything running and had 44 degrees in the cab and got to running it and right here you can't see it because there's no I'm not gonna show you the yellow but this crimp is uh leaking. So Another hose got to get put on. 
but I don't have that particular style end, so I'm going to make an end and I'm going to show you what I use in a moment. So as I was saying a little while ago, this is a super specialized fitting. It had the crimp on it with the hose, and these are called lifesavers. You silver braze that on there, you use your original, this goes to the compressor, this particular one, so I don't have to wait two weeks, three weeks to get it. And then we use the easy clip hose, which is super easy. And the same with this end, I didn't have this one, so I've got one pinched in the vise, and I'm going to silver braze it on right now. So, to number eight, you cut it the ferrule off. Cut this part off. This is a brand new crimpable fitting. Cut the crimp part off. Go to the tube size. Flux her up. We're going to braze her in there. I got to get my stuff together here and lit up. Very nice. You gotta like that. At least I do. A little bucket of water next to me here. Pretty much like that. Now I got a brand new end to use on my on that tractor. I'll buff it off with the wire wheel and it'll be awesome. Get you by man. There we are. All back together. Had a couple visitors in the meantime, but That's what they call the easy crimp, easy clip system. Red Dot makes it nice setup. I think it's Red Dot. Well, AeroQuip, somebody like that. Took a standard fitting, braised that on there. Hey, we're in business. So now we're at about as good as we can get for our atmosphere. No, excuse me, for our sea level. So I'll just draw her down and I'm gonna. What do you call it? I'm gonna fix it up. While it was running here, I found something else. Maybe I said this already. I don't know. The return line, there was fuel dripping on the floor. And the return line coming off the number one injector, these little rubber, little rubber grommets. Hard as bone. Same size as the John Deere skidder uses, quarter inch. Not this common. Had them in the drawer, so when I fire it up, I'd be checking that, make sure that's. Yeah, it's always fire potential when you got engines running that's dripping down the exhaust manifold. So that's fixed. That was just a courtesy while I'm doing this other stuff. We don't want any fires. All right. So next thing you know, I'll be back in it and have it all covered up and outside. And I don't need to show you that. That's the way it is. So hopefully I'll have some kind of video for you today. And like I said, I'm going to 
Minnesota one, two, three days and then up north another day. So I'll be busy gone all week. Maybe I'll do something on the on the road and upload some video from on the road in Minnesota. Maybe I'll be in a really crappy hotel and have to show it off. Or a good one. So anyways, hey, just a note. 658 subscribers as of this morning. You know, I'd really like more from you guys. Okay. I'm just kidding. Always just thanks for watching. Subscribe, thumbs up, comments. I like them all. Whatever you do. So, all right. Take your light, man.